Hello, I'm Don Albright out in the desert today. Uh, we're east of the Salton Sea. We're in the uh, edge of Riverside County near the Imperial County line. Off in the background there you can see the Chocolate Mountains. And to my right is another range called the Oracopia Mountains. Standing beside a big rock, it's a big piece of rhyolite. And there's a whole lot of rhyolite over there in the Chocolate Mountains behind me. It's a volcanic rock. That means igneous rock. It's an extrusive igneous rock, meaning a flow lava that spilled out onto a continent rather than into a seafloor. It's um, a type of volcanic rock that's mostly quartz and feldspar uh, with a little bit of, of the black minerals, the little uh, grains of biotite mica, that's black mica, and hornblende and uh, pyroxene. Actually, the same mineral mix as true granite. Uh, if it had been a, a magma and becoming a batholith and cooling many miles down, cooling slowly, its texture would be very different. It would be granite. But cooling here at the surface, it cooled rapidly and became very fine grain, and it has this kind of a buff red color, a typical of rhyolite lava flows that cooled in the atmosphere on a continent. Rhyolites are found typically all over continents, so where lava flows in the past have occurred. In contrast with lava flows on or, uh, or in the sea, the sea floor around the margins of oceans, those lava flows tend to be mostly very dark black lava called basalt. Well, now we have a close-up of our big rhyolite boulder. Uh, first notice uh, there's some flow patterns in it. Uh, those uh, lines indicate that this was a flowing liquid material at one time, flowing of, out of a, a volcanic fissure. Uh, well, that particular mineral mix, uh, if it's uh, more than 50% silicates, uh, which are the quartz and feldspar, uh, with a, just a little bit of the, the black minerals, uh, makes this uh, a rock uh, a rhyolite. Not all lavas are rhyolite. Uh, they're classified according to the relative percentage of constituent minerals, which are those same minerals I, I've just discussed. But the, when you see this buff red color, it's usually rhyolite. Uh, this lava flow cooled in the atmosphere, uh, in an atmosphere where there was uh, plenty of oxygen available. If the same flow had occurred uh, beneath the surface where oxygen was not available or uh, underwater, its color would be black. Uh, oxygen oxidized uh, the minerals as they cooled and, and gave it this buff red color. Another little piece of rhyolite, the, the same material as the big rock, uh, pick this piece up because um, I noticed it has a lot of little pits, uh, little pockmarks uh, all throughout this side of the rock. Uh, those little pits or, or marks are places, uh, uh, little holes made by escaping gas. Uh, this being rhyolite, it cooled at the surface, uh, so it had gases in it, volcanic gases that were escaping, and as they did, they uh, made those little holes. Uh, this texture on volcanic rock is called scoraceous, or volcanic rock that's full of these little pits is called volcanic scoria. So this would be a, a rhyolite scoria. <laughs>